ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ಸ್ಫಡಿಯ ಸಂಕಾಶಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪ್ರದಾಯಕ ಶುದ್ಧ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದಾಶಿವಹಂಶೇ ಶಂಖಾರೂಪೇಣ ಮಚ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಪಂಕೀಕೃತಮೂಜ್ಯಯ ಕಂ ಕರೀಯಸ ಸಾಮಾಯ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಾಶ್ರೇ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಭಾರತೀ ಕರುಣಾಪಾತ್ರ ಭಾರತೀ ಪದಭೂಷಣ ಭಾರತೀ ಪದಮಾರೂಢ ಭಾರತೀ ತೀರ್ಥಮಾಶ್ರೇ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಿನಯ ಸಂಪನ್ನ ಗೀತರಾಗ ವಿವೇಕಿನ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞ ವಿಧುಶೇಖರ ಭಾರತೀ ಮಾಲಾ ಸುಧಾ ಕುಂಭ ವಿಭೋಧ ಮುದ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಿರಾಜತ್ಕರವಾರಿಜಾತ ಅಪಾರ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ಸುಧಾಂಬುರಾಶಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಾರದಾಂಬಾಂ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಓ ವಾಸುದೇವೇಂದ್ರಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ನಾನಪ್ರದ ಗುರು ಮುಮುಕ್ಷೂಣ ಹಿತಾಯ ತತ್ವಬೋಧೋಭಿಧೀಯತೆ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ ದೆರ್ ವರ್ ಟು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಾಯಾ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಆಥರ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ತಮೋ ಗುಣಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಮಾಯಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೇಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ called guna attributes here it means power that is shakti we can use any one of these words that is faculty power aspect or attribute facets or anything you can choose we will use shakti sattva represents the faculty of knowledge ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಫೇಕಲ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರಜೋಗುಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಫೇಕಲ್ಟಿ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಶಕ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನರ್ಶಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಪವರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಟೂ ಪವರ್ಸ್ therefore it is suppressing power dravya shakti when the power of inertia is dominant it will suppress jnana shakti and kriya shakti like a clip or the desk they cannot do any action by themselves because these two objects for example clip or desk they do not have jnana shakti or kriya shakti kriya shakti because this is overpowered these two shaktis are overpowered by dravya shakti in these objects for example car parked outside the building does not have thank god does not have jnana shakti or kriya shakti it is parked outside therefore it has dravya shakti state of inertia supposing it has kriya shakti what would happen by the time you go out of the house the car would have gone it on its own it doesn't happen thank god the world requires dravya shakti whereas your body requires jnana shakti and kriya shakti we will see the details later anyway 
दीज थ्री पावर्स और शक्तिस और देर इन माया देर फोर माया इज त्रिगुण माया त्रिगुणात्मिका माया वेर एस ब्रह्मन और कॉन्शियसनेस डस नॉट हैव एनी एट्रीब्यूट डस नॉट हैव एनी पावर ऑफ इट्स ओन इट इज कॉल्ड निर्गुणम बिकॉज इट डस नॉट हैव एनी एट्रीब्यूट ब्रह्मन इज कॉल्ड निर्गुण ब्रह्मन आदिशंकराचार्य बिगिन्स सौंदर्य लहरी विथ अ ब्यूटिफुल श्लोकम इट स्टार्ट लाइक दिस् शिवशक्तिया युक्त यति भवति शक्त प्रभव दट ईज शिव इज ब्रह्मन ही कैनाट डू एनीथिंग अनलेस ही कम्स इन असोसिएशन विथ शक्ति दट ईज माया दट ईज शक्ति तत्व न चे देव देव न खलु कुशल स्फंदी That is, nothing is possible for Brahman without this Maya Shakti. So in Tamil we say, Shiva nilai el, Shakti nilai, Shakti nilai el, Shiva nilai. Without Brahman, Maya cannot do any activity on its own, because Maya requires Brahman's blessings for the very existence. whereas brahman without association with maya that also cannot do any action because brahman is nirgunam it cannot it is sakshi therefore both the principles are required for any activity for any action therefore nothing is possible for brahman without maya shakti therefore before creation nirgunam brahman and triguna maya were there as two primal factors chetanam sentient or conscious brahman and achetanam inert maya these two were there before creation since consciousness is eternal all pervading it cannot undergo any change therefore consciousness is nirvikaram changeless whereas maya is savikaram always changing subject to change modification matter can change matter can evolve therefore out of this brahman and maya mixture the creation has to evolve and how does the evolution begin how does the evolution come author says tatah aakasha sambhutah aakashat vayuh vayoh tejah tejasa aapah adhya prithivi this is what the author says you can relate this with taitriya upanishad mantram also almost the similar words are used in taitriya upanishad <coughs> out of this mixture that is ardhanarishwara tatvam chetana nirguna nirvikara brahman that is consciousness without any attribute or without any property it is changeless and achetana triguna maya savikara maya these two mixtures alone are responsible for the creation now evolution can happen only out of one of these two primal factors either brahman or maya which part since evolution is a form of change is a form of modification since brahman is pure existence lending or blessing its existence to maya therefore 
evolution has to happen only through maya just as the light in this hall does not do any action on its own but without the light we cannot do any activity if the light were not there we cannot do any activity light is required but does the light talk does the light hear does the light write notes nothing it cannot do anything on its own but without light we cannot do any action similarly just as the light blesses as by mere presence brahman does not do any action even blessing is not kartrutvam for brahman it is not an action for brahman it is mere presence that is sakshi consciousness and by its because it is lending existence to maya maya evolves matter evolves this evolution alone is called creation and this creation is here presented in four stages the first stage of evolution <coughs> sorry is that of the pancha bhuta srishti and that to sukshma pancha bhuta srishti the subtle five elements the creation starts with the subtle five elements that is the first stage now the second stage of these is these five subtle elements produced varieties of subtle invisible bodies we have already seen what is sukshma shariram sthula shariram what is karana shariram that is we have already seen what is gross body subtle body and the causal body so you have to relate you have to recall that particular class all these subtle bodies consisting of all the mind all the indriyams jnanendriyam karmendriyam pranaha all the subtle bodies are the products of subtle elements subtle bodies are called sukshma bhautikani elementals so this sukshma pancha bhutani is the recause for stula sukshma bhautikani sorry sukshma bhautikani that is subtle elements or the cause for subtle bodies this is the second stage of creation combination of elements is called elemental combination of bhutas is called bhautikam just as the matter modifies to become material elements modified and become elementals that is bhautikam all the different individual lokas like swarga loka bhuvar loka suvar loka mahar loka and also the uh, linear the other other seven lokas tapo loka uh, the other one patala loka and all those lokas they are all subtle we cannot see but these are all invisible lokas varieties of invisible world universe are created only out of this sukshma bhutani these are all mentioned in our scriptures that is totally 14 lokas are there seven upper lokas seven lower lokas all these invisible world are also products of invisible five subtle elements called sukshma bhautika srishti that is the second stage now third stage is called sthula bhuta srishti evolution of gross elements concrete five elements sthula bhutani the fourth and final stage is out of this gross elements through varieties of combination all the gross bodies 
that is physical bodies stula bhautika srishti not only human bodies all those elements all those uh, animals birds so many insects creatures everything is created creation of the whole gross universe like tangible physical bodies our own physical bodies will come under bhautikam our physical body is not made out of pure earth or pure water pure agni no it is not but it is made out of combination of all these five bhutani our body has got prithvi tatvam earth jala tatvam water agni tatvam fire principle vayu tatvam air in our lungs vayu pranaha and akasha tatvam that is space a combination of all these five elements is called elementals so our body is called elemental bhautikam therefore it is called stula bhautikam gross it is tangible visible concrete thus sukshma bhutah that is elements subtle elements from the subtle elements subtle elementals sukshma bhautika prapancha ke and from sukshma bhuta sthula bhutani ke that is gross elements ke from gross elements gross world sthula bhautikam all these gross bodies gross universe ke thus this is a gra- gradation in this creation gradually it is created in these four stages the entire cosmos evolves now author is going to talk about each level each stage in detail the first level is explained here tataha from the beginningless anadi maya blessed by brahman what is created akasha sambhutaha that is first five elements sukshma bhutani subtle elements are born the first one being sukshma akashah we are talking about the first stage whatever i say it is subtle sukshma that we should remember sambhutah means evolves it is a very interesting observation according to our scriptures space is also an element created it is not anadi it is not eternal but it is a created one even scientists nowadays they are discovering discovering this fact which is already mentioned by shastras long time ago previously scientists thought space is eternal which is called newtonian physics they thought the space they thought the stars planets are created within the space in the space there is after the space is create after the space is there then stars planets everything was created in the space that is what they thought but after einsteinian physics came they say you cannot talk about space before the big bang before creation the cre- before the creation you cannot talk of even space that is what the scientists are telling now only after the big bang you can talk about creation of space therefore space is also a created element this is very very important fact space is not nothingness it is not emptiness but it is a positive material but it is very very subtle material which we cannot perceive very very subtle but positive it is not emptiness scientists nowadays talk about elastic space curving space expanding phase bending space etc if space is emptiness how can it bend so it is not possible which is being found out by scientists now now they say space is a very very subtle elastic matter but our shastras have pointed out this millennia before therefore finally space is created and subtlest form of matter according to our scriptures the property of sound 
belongs to the space. Shabdaha is the property of space. Akasha has only one product, property, has only one guna, property, that is Shabdaha. You cannot touch space, you cannot hear, you cannot see the space, you cannot smell the space, because it doesn't have any of these attributes, but it has only one guna, only one attribute, which is called Shabdam. Sound, that's it. Akasha has only one property, Shabda. Then, people may ask, how come we are not able to hear the space? If you have a very, very subtle ears, which are capable of listening to very, very subtle noise, then you can hear. Because of the limitation of our ears, we are not able to hear the sound of space. But yogis, yogis can hear the sound coming in the space. Similar to our uh, pure white light, that is sunlight, pure white light, it is a combination of seven colors, which we have read long time back in our school days. That is the pure white light, is a combination of vip gayar that is violet indigo blue green yellow and orange and red these seven colors make up white pure white color but we cannot see any of the combine any of the components of these individual colors i cannot see red color i cannot see violet color and all those but i can see only white because of the limitation of my eyes. It doesn't mean that white is pure white. It is a combination of these seven colors, but our eyes cannot see them. They do not have the powers to see that. But if the white light is allowed to pass through a glass prism, then you can see, our eyes can see the seven colors. Similarly, when the other elements come into existence, we are able to recognize the sound. Otherwise, there is sound in the space. But our ears cannot recognize. This is the fact. In fact, as I told, yogis are supposed to recognize the noise in the, the sound in the space. And they say it is Omkara Nataha, Anahata Shabdaha, Avyakta Shabdaha, the unmanifest sound in space which the ordinary ears cannot hear and therefore eka gunakaha akasha is born this subtle akasha then akashat vayuhu from the subtle akasha the second element sukshma vayu bhutam that is a subtle air it is born and this sukshma vayu has two properties, shabda and sparsa. You can feel. You can feel it. You can, you, touch can be felt by our skin. That is why we are, we are always trying to find some place under the fan. Because I want to feel the wind. I want to feel the air because it is very sultry. Therefore, I want to sit under the sun, under the fan. Because our skin can feel the Vayu Tattvam, Sparsha Guna, his speciality of this Vayu. Then Vayu Ho Tejaha, from the subtle Vayu Bhutam, the third subtle element, fire, Tejaha or Agni Tattvam is born. Once again, Sukshma Agni Tattvam, which has got three properties, Shabda, Sparsha and Rupam. Rupam is form. Vayu cannot be seen but Agni can be seen also. Correct? Agni has touch or not, I am very sure. I don't have any doubt. If you have any doubt, you can go and touch Agni and say that yes, yes, it has got touching power. I can see, I can feel it. Yeka gunaha akashaha, vi gunakaha vayuhu and tri gunakaha agnihi. Then, from Agni, Apaha, Tejaha, Apaha, 
ಆಪಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಜಲಂ ಜಲತತ್ವಂ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಜಲತತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ಬಾನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಸಂ ರಸಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ವಾಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಚ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಷಿಯೇಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ರಸಂ ಈಸ್ ರಸ ಚತುರ್ಗುಣಕಂ ವಾಟರ್ ಜಲಂ ದೆನ್ ಅಭ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ವಾಟರ್ ದ ಹುಪ್ ತನ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಪೃಥಿವಿ ಈಸ್ ಬಾನ್ ಪೃಥಿವಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಆರ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಈಸ್ ಬಾನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಪಂಚಗುಣ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಫೈ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಫೈ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ರಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಂಧ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎರ್ತ್ ಮಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈನ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಎರ್ತ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಮಣ್ ವಾಸನೈ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ವಿಸೆ therefore smell belongs to earth there is no smell for water but water we get from the corporation may have all kinds of smell it doesn't belong to water it has it belongs to other pollutants because of pollution and other chemicals of uh, the water we get may have all the smell but factually speaking water has no smell but it has a unique taste and the smell belongs to earth now therefore we have seen five subtle elements sukshma pancha bhutani or born first element can be recognized by only one sense organ since it has only one property second element can be recognized by two sense organs because it has two properties like that only third fourth and fifth final fifth and final element can be recognized by all the five sense organs because it has all five properties whatever can be recognized by more sense organs it is gross whatever can be recognized by less number of sense organs it is subtle space is the most subtle subtlest form of matter is space and then vayu that is wind or air and then fire jalam water and finally earth it is the grossest thus in a graded manner the first stage of creation is born pancha sukshma bhutani five subtle elements are born in this manner it is called pancha sukshma srishti then we will see the other stages of creation in the subsequent class ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ